the story is Raju's first flight. The author is Nandita Jayaraj, and the illustrator is Upamanyu Bhattacharya. So let's begin the story. Captain Raju steers the fighter jet to a sharp left, just missing the Eiffel Tower. Phew! Paris is certainly a tricky place to fly in. He thought, heart beating fast. Suddenly, he heard a noise from the cockpit. Beep, beep, beep. What was it? Was he on the enemy ground, or did the engine have a problem? Beep, beep, beep. Raju woke up with a start at the sound of the alarm. It was all just a dream, he sighed. But wait, there's no time for disappointment. Today was a big day. I am going to take my first aeroplane ride, Amma. I am awake. His mother was zipping a suitcase. Good morning, Raju. She said, "I am so excited to see your sister. It's been so many months since we saw Arya. Get ready quickly." Raju was inside an airport for the first time in his life. He helped his mother lift the suitcase onto a moving belt. The belt carried the bags into a big machine. The strict lady in the uniform was looking at the small screen behind the machine. Raju was shocked when he looked at the screen. It showed not just his bag but everything inside it. His new sport shoes, his binoculars, everything. X-ray vision, just like Captain Raju has. Gaps Raju. Raju opened his mouth to ask the lady something, but his mother stopped him. Hush, Raju. She is on the security team. She has to make sure that passengers are not carrying dangerous items like explosives or weapons. Best not to disturb her. At last, Raju found himself in a large hall. The walls were made of glass, and he could see dozens of airplanes outside. One was about to take off. Pilots have such an important job, don't they, Amma? Of course, just like bus drivers or ship captains, they are responsible for safe travel of so many passengers. Kichi is so lucky; she's been on so many planes. I can't wait till I am old enough. Amma laughed. Oh yes, Arya certainly has, but you are only nine years old. There is a plenty of time for you, Raju. Raju noticed people lining up at gate eight. That's our gate, Amma. It's time to board the plane. Ten minutes later, they were in the seats, all buckled up. Raju looked out of the window as the plane finally began to move. It started slowly, but in few seconds, it was going so fast that Raju felt his seat vibrate. Suddenly. The shaking stopped. The giant plane was in the air. Amma, we are flying. We are. Listen, Raju. They are making an announcement. Shh. Someone's voice came from the speakers. A familiar voice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain Arya. Welcome aboard, Kechi. That's my daughter. Thank you.